Hi all, I have quite an amusing game of Leela Chess 452, ID 452, playing against Stockfish 4. So not the strongest Stockfish, but it is a fairly amusing game. That's why I want to show it to you. The contributor is Hartmut Herring. So let's have a look at this game. It started with the curious move Knight C3, but we get a transposition into a French defense actually. So Stockfish 4 playing black, we get the French defense. And this is uh, like the Steinitz variation, I believe. So the knight here on c3 goes to e2. So that makes way for c3 as a possibility. Bishop e7, and now a very curious move. Usually here, knight f3 is played. Now, this might be a good weapon, surprise weapon, uh, for blitz or bullet chess, this next move. Queen d3, getting the queen out, making use of that available third rank immediately to put the queen on attacking square. Now the Haldane uh, gambit system is an early queen h5. It's sort of similar ideas to part the queen eventually aggressively on the king side. So this is a very interesting idea. Uh, so as I say, the more usual line is knight f3, for example, like this, blah, blah, blah. Pretty standard stuff. So queen d3 is already interesting. Black castles. Queen g3, we have king h8, knight f3, c5. So white has an aggressive pawn chain, but it's being undermined. Now, Leela actually uses the bishop to support the pawn chain rather than committing to c3. We have this check which provokes c3. And now the, the annoying queen b5. Now, a normal move here uh, against b2 collapsing is to play rook b1. But actually, Leela played b4. Uh, just to show you, rook b1, knight c6, this position uh, is a little bit annoying. Black's going to be fine once white has to commit to playing a move like d takes c. Because otherwise, yeah, there's uncomfortable pressure on the center. Uh, so that would be an even position. But this move uh, b4 is extremely interesting. It actually make sure that white's pawn center isn't collapsing so easily at the cost of a temporary a pawn sack or two so c takes knight f4 hitting the queen the queen goes to c6 and then we have rook c1 b takes c3 so what leela has done i mean this is really intelligent attacking chess the center here is pretty solid the tension has been removed Okay, white has lost a couple of pawns. But this is a very entertaining position now from an attacking point of view. Because look at this bishop striking at h7, that soft spot. We have king g8, king going back. And Leela just goes for it. Knight h5, threatening mate in one. g6. And now guess what? Okay, knight g5 is played. This is really dangerous, this position already. Uh, for black we have rook e8 if g takes then this is just mating of course knight takes e6 discovered check and then mating with queen g7 bishop could delay things but it's still mate on g7 so we have rook e8 queen f4 threatening queen takes f7 check black took queen takes g5 the dot squares have been totally compromised here King h8, the knight slips into f6. It's pretty much all over. It's such a free hand position for the attack. Here, we have rook g8 being played rather desperately. If knight takes f6, then this is just mating on the dark squares pretty easily. So knight seven, queen g7, checkmate. So we have rook g8, and now just h4. Yeah, just peel open the h file. Look at all of white's pieces. <laughs> It's Stockfish 4, I think, has underperformed here to get this position, basically. Knight f8, h5, queen c7. Now, an amusing move here after queen c7 is played. Can you guess if I give you five seconds? White to play. Okay. Knight e8. Hitting the queen and the queen can come to f6 mating there. So black desperately gives up the queen. <laughs> yeah, if the queen moves, then queen f6 check and then mate. 
Okay, so knight bd7. Lila takes the queen and goes back to e8. Knight d6, h6. And yeah, if rook g8, then this knight takes f7 checkmate. Yeah, it's pretty much lost, as you might think. Bishop takes f6, ef, rook f7. Knight takes f7 check, knight e5. Knight takes, queen takes, it's pretty much all over, of course. Queen takes d7, threatening mate on g7. And the rook comes to help the queen checkmate here. Now, I wasn't initially going to show you this game because it's really unfair. It's Stockfish 4. But, you know, we do look at Morphe games. He was head and shoulders uh, above his contemporary. So sometimes getting an unfair match creates an entertaining game to look at. But there's an interesting idea, I thought, of the early Queen D3, which isn't the standard book move. But I really think that this is quite an attacking opening, especially with that concept of B4 to just make sure the center pawns are totally stable. And then going for the crude attack, it's a total free hand situation basically, once the center was totally stabilized with that B4 pawn sack. So I, f I thought there were some instructive points to it, even though it was a bit of a mismatch. Okay, comments, questions, likes, shows appreciated. Thanks very much.